In 1970, with only $600 and unwavering faith, David and Barbara Green of Oklahoma began a small business out of their garage. With the help of their children, the Greens built picture frames and sold them to local craft stores. Two years later, the Green family opened their first Hobby Lobby store. Today, the family-owned business employs 28,000 people in more than 500 stores from coast to coast. Our faith was very important in our starting this company because we had a, had a real sense, Barbara and I, that God had this uh, purpose in our life and it was something other than what we were doing. Since the beginning, Hobby Lobby has remained a privately owned, family-run company dedicated to operating all aspects of its business according to its faith. We believe that the principles that are taught scripturally are what we should uh, operate our lives by, and so it naturally flows over into the business. That the Greens live out their faith is seen in their generous treatment of their employees. Some of the ways we do that is we closed on Sundays. Uh, we try to close earlier eight, eight, at 8 o'clock. We're only open 66 hours a week for a business like us. It's very unusual. We don't know of anybody else like that at, at our size. The Greens' generous spirit is further demonstrated in the fact that the company pays full-time entry-level employees 90 percent above minimum wage and devotes a very large portion of its profits to a broad array of charities. Three years ago, the Greens' principles were put to a difficult test when the federal government mandated that they and their family businesses provide four potentially life-terminating contraceptive drugs and devices through their employee health plan. This mandate conflicted with the Greens' deeply held religious convictions. While the Green family has no objection to providing 16 of the 20 FDA-approved drugs and devices under the federal mandate, providing four of the drugs and devices that have the potential to terminate a life conflicts with their faith. This is an issue of life. Um, that we, we cannot be a part of taking life. And so to be in a situation where our government is telling us that we have to be uh, is incredible. I think that whenever I first heard about it, I was kind of confused as to why, why, our, why we would be told to do something that went against our faith. And, you know, our country, one of the great things about it is that it was founded on this idea of having religious freedom. The Greens recognized they were being forced to either violate their religious beliefs or violate the law. That's a choice no American should have to make. We don't want to sue our own government. That did not feel good. It's not something we want to do. But at the same time, we felt like a line was drawn in the sand and we, we had to make a choice. And we didn't want to make that choice. And so we're asking the government now, please don't make us make that choice. Um, let's get on the same side of this issue. Please allow us to have our religious freedoms. With the support of the Beckett Fund for Religious Liberty, the Greens sued to protect those beliefs and won an injunction in the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals. That federal court decision said that they had a right to religious freedom and that the government had trampled on that right. It has nothing to do with, with we don't care about women or um, we want to direct their lives or anything of that sort. We realize that um, people make their own choices and, and, and must follow their own beliefs as we want to follow our own beliefs. People are saying that we're taking the rights from somebody and there's no way we're taking anybody's rights away. It's our rights that are being infringed upon to require us to do something that's against our conscience. The Greens case is now before the U.S. Supreme Court, which is expected to make a decision this summer. What's at stake here is whether you're able to keep your religious freedom when you open a family business, whether you can continue to live out your faith in the way that you live every aspect of your life. It's not about uh, whether women can take it or not. We have, we're not kind, trying to control that. We're just trying to control our participation in it.